Well, hello, 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 and hello. Uh, yes, indeed, Ian, and of course, how you done? Yes, indeed, Ian, I'm back by popular demand. I know that I said it's the final viewing, so, you know, welcome to the casting before I send it off for cremation. But, of course, once I logged out of my video, because I took up so much time, because I hold a lot in, and once I logged out, that was more I needed to say and more I'm going to say. Okay? Yes, I am. How you doing? So you already know what it is and what it's given and who it is and what it shall always be. Again. Okay? It's the one. The one and the only that could never, ever, ever, never be duplicated. The one and the only. The bitch that they love to hate but would love to be. And the one that they can't get no sleep worrying about. Hollywood, the king, B. Again, I'm not mad. I'm not. And I know it might come across as that way. I'm not mad at all. I am human. And I have feelings. Okay? Don't come for me unless I send for you. I am not sending for nobody. I have been generous, very, very quietly, very staying to myself, right? Just living my life like it's golden. Living my life like it's golden. Living my life like it's golden. <laughs> but I have. I just come and go, party this and do that. We got one life to live. And I try to enjoy all the days of every hour, minute, and second of my life. But it comes a time when, like I said, I don't have a point to prove to nobody. No, 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 no. Mm -mm, period. I don't have a point to prove to nobody. I don't have I don't have to. Because, you know, at the end of the day, like I said, you don't live for people. Ain't nobody paying my motherfucking bills. You understand? You ain't helping me do shit. So, I don't have a point to prove. No. So, I know I don't want nobody to be like, why you keep doing videos? Or why he said that? Why? Don't worry about it. If you don't like it, then exit, bitch. Bye. Block me. Move on. To the left, to the left. Bye, bitch. It's no one holding you hostage. You understand? Because I am the one and the only. I am Hollywood. This is who I am. And the words of Mary J. Blige, take me as I am or have nothing at all. Okay? Because I come through. That bitch is that bitch. Hollywood, that bitch. I'm the moment. Evidently, I'm the moment. You understand? So, with that being said... I had more to say. What I wanted to say was, I was on my list, and I don't know how I skipped it. Remember I told you I got my list. The other thing that I wanted to touch on, mm -hmm, this is going to sink in. This is not for the ones that's doing this to me. You don't have to look at it. You ain't got to watch the videos. But this is to clear the surface and clear the air. Like I said, I don't have a point to prove to nobody. I didn't have to say nothing. You're right. But I'm going to say what the fuck I want to say when the fuck I want to say it. I'm tired of the bullshit. I'm sick and fucking tired of it. I'm tired of it. So I'm going to say something. This is for people that's watching that been around me and know the truth and the proof and the facts. Okay? This is people that been around my spirit. You, you feel my energy. You know Lamar is... That man, Lamont brings joy. Lamont brings peace. Lamont brings sanity. Lamont brings happiness. So I want people that may be on your page, on their pages, or whoever pages, I don't want you to be a follower. I don't want you to feed into something you heard. That's why I do this. I don't care if you believe it or not, but at least you will hear from the horse's mouth. You understand? Because there's three sides to every story. It's yours, theirs, and the truth. And you can't fight that. So I do this for my therapy and my releasing this because you're not going to win victorious over me because victory today is mine. I told Satan, not get behind, be under, behind me because you might push me, but get under my fucking feet because you are defeated, demon. Okay? I know you use people, you use imps to do your dirty work, but I'm here to serve you notice, bitch, devil, imps. I'm here to serve you, devil. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. So what I left out is another topic I wanted to touch. I talked about how they lied about me, you know, not loving my mother and all that, which we know people know me personally know that was a lie. But that's to take the heat off of what they had done to her. Oh, that takes the heat off of what they may have said. Oh, they feel guilty because what they did not do while she was here. Hello? Let's talk about it. Now... Another topic that was hot on my list. I don't know how I missed that one. This one hit home. 
And I'm so thankful to God that she, before she left this earth, know the truth. Another issue that was brought up. Not recently, I'm just, in general, like I said, I'm, I'm on that page right now because I'm ready to, to put the bow on it and send it through the coffin somewhere. I'm, just, I'm ready. This is the final viewing. So, Jean Booker, my beautiful grandmother, the icon, the legend, the matriarch. I loved her unconditionally. May her soul rest in peace because grandma, I use another one. I already know you made it and hallelujah. You paid the way and you taught me a lot. And again, these stories go mis misconstrued and misunderstood and miseducated because people put in their fire to stuff that ain't no fire there. People put their two sin in stuff. And maybe somebody said, maybe somebody said something and you run with it. But let me clear the air. First and foremost, I loved it. My grandmother unconditionally. I thank and I pay homage to everything she taught me and instilled in me. That's why I am the man I am today. Thanks to my mother, my grandmother, Jean Booker, and my um, great grandfather that's resting in peace, Roxy. You know, I know they said that wasn't my real grandfather because I didn't care for my grandfather, William Sherrod. I, I'm sorry, I didn't. I'm sorry. But Roxy instilled a lot in me how to be a father and a man and all that because he showed me through what I've seen. So that's why I tell people, stop judging the book by its cover. You understand? When you don't know the whole story. I love that my grandmother unconditionally. We had had some disagreements and some fallouts, yes. But you don't know the whole story. And she may have told you, like I said, when you're upset, you say things. And being though she's older, you know, you may have took that and ran with it. And um, I've had people come to me after that and was like, Lamar, I apologize. I didn't know the whole story, why you was upset. It just was said to me. I said, no, I didn't disrespect my grandmother. Mm -mm, we're not going to do that. Stop that. That's all. Then we're going to do lies again. I told you, anytime it comes to Lamont, it escalates. It escalates more and more. But I don't disrespect my elders. That's why I'm blessed and I'm still here today. You understand? I'm unbothered by y'all lies. I'm unbothered by y'all bullshit. But I'm going to clear the record once and for all for the final viewing. I'm not going to go into all the details because it's old. She's gone. Let her rest. But what happened was when people died real close to you, your emotions would be all over the place. And I feel like I didn't have no support. So when my mom passed away in 2004, February the 4th, I mean, my bad, 2007, I went through an emotional roller coaster. I had two small kids to raise. It was a lot on me to bear at the time. And within that being going on at that moment, and then on top of that, things had shifted and I didn't know nothing about. And that upset me. I had no control of at the moment. And I said, I don't appreciate what just happened. So maybe my bark came out aggressively. The only reason why I'm explaining it because I want the truth to be out there. I don't want nobody that fucks with me. I'm talking about people that really love me. I don't want y'all to believe that story that was told to y'all. I want you to know what really went down. Okay? I didn't disrespect my grandma, but I love her too much for that. And I respect my grandma. One thing she'll tell you if she was here today... That boy may stay distant. He may get quiet on me, but but one thing he will do, he respects me. Mm -mm. I don't disrespect my grandma. I love her too much. So what happened was, it was a big mis misunderstanding, and I was not wrong for being upset. And we talked about it later. But like I said, it was an A and B conversation. It had nothing to do with you, you, and you. But you wanted to put the bad seat out there to make it seem like I disrespect my grandmother and I was evil. Y'all know who the fuck y'all are. And I'm not going to call your names because you know who the fuck said it. You know what the fuck you said Lamont Bowes have done it. That's a damn lie because y'all did it too to y'all great grandmother, grandma, whoever the fuck she is to y'all, your aunt, whatever. So, bitch, we're not going to go there. See, that's what I said. Sweep around your own skeletons before you keep throwing dots and dots at me. So what happened was I was really emotionally disturbed because, and it may seem small to y'all, but it was major to me. When my mom passed away, my emotions was all over the place. They was. I was so upset. You feel betrayed. You go through a lot when your mother leaves. I ain't gonna lie. And so I felt like my grandmother was not connecting with me. I said, Grandma, I'm, I'm calling, reaching out to you. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Even before my mother died. And I was not getting a response. You know, and I was hurt. Then on top of that, I was left out of the loop when it was time for my mother's home going and stuff. And I was upset. I was. I ain't going to sugarcoat it. I was hurt. Because I said, hold up, hold up. This controller spirit going to stop. No, I'm not paying for the whole funeral. I understand that. 
Okay, but at the same token, I said, I'd be damned. And this is what I said, not to her, but intentionally, I said, you know, I said, I'd be damned if my mother's home going infernal, going to be at some goddamn house of prayer. I understand that's what they did for Tyrone because he didn't have a church home. But my mother, I don't like that church. And I don't like them goddamn evil, demonic, spirited people. I don't care for house of prayer. And I don't play about that. I do not like that church. So I'd be damned if my mother's last memories was going to be in that bitch. Okay? Now tell the real story, bitch. Since y'all telling shit. Okay? Rest in peace, though, Grandma. Rest in peace. It wasn't her fault. But when my grandmother called me finally and told me the arrangements, I went off. I did. I did not call her out her name. I didn't cuss. I didn't raise my voice. I didn't call her all out her name. None of that. I don't disrespect my grandmother. Say what you want. I don't. But I spoke my mind. I said, Grandma, uh-uh. I said, I don't know what this y'all got going on, but that's not how it's going down. That's what upset me. So after the funeral and everything went down, it was at my church. My mother loved it, her pastor, Pastor K, rest in peace, pastor. But my mother loved it, her pastor. She loved it, her home, go, her home church. We had a home church, okay? Our church. I don't give a fuck if anybody couldn't fit in there. But that was her last memories to me, what she said on my couch. Y'all don't know this. She said, if I leave this earth tomorrow, because I'm tired, I'm fighting. You know, my body is weak. If I leave, Lord, I made peace with God. Make sure my home going. And she already wrote it, wrote it out. So that's why I was trying to tell my grandma. I said, Grandma, I'm not being smart, but it's not going to be there. I'm sorry. It's not going to be in no damn house of prayer. Because my mother acts, and this is what we're going to go by. She wants to be at where her pastor preaching over her. And she asked me to sing. Shade was thrown about that too. You know, Shay was thrown, you know, and people was like, oh, he can't sing. Or why he's showing off. Lamont trying to put a show on. Bitch, I'm not trying to put no goddamn show on at my mother's funeral. This is what we do. Me and my mother always sing to each other on the phone. This is what we would do for years. And she said, you know, you better sing my favorite song. And I said, my, stop talking like that because you ain't going nowhere. Because I was in denial. I said, no, she can't leave me. So when she said, you're going to sing if I leave, and I always told her if I die before her, she's going to sing Precious Lord, Oh, I'm Still Holding On, because that was her. She would sing those songs. My mother was a, a icon when it came to singing. So I said, Ma, I could never hide her. How am I going to get up at a, a home going? You talking like this to me, Ma? How am I going to get up and, and, and sing at a home going of yours? She said, because you are, because you're going to urge me in, and you're going to stay strong. And that's what I was told to do. So when y'all y'all was throwing shade in the in the sanctuary, not everybody, because I told you I seen the faces. I seen some people was like, Lamont, you sounded good. You know, even some of the media family, they came to me and was like, Lamont, you sounded good. You that was what she, she needed. But you had your haters like, oh Lord, he trying to be seen. This that, and third. It's always something negative when it comes to Lamont. But I know why I did it. And I meant it from the bottom of my heart. And I know I sounded good. I don't say I'm a beast, but I know that would then fall fall from the tree. My mother's a singer. And I'm a singer, okay? Everything my mother do, I does it. I do the same thing. Cook like her, dress like her, dr decorate a house like her. So we all had a connect that y'all just don't know about. And me and my grandmother shared so many good memories. Hallelujah. So I don't have nothing to prove to y'all bitches that tried to stamp that disrespectfulness on our relationship. See how y'all keep doing it? Y'all drag these fake lies on and on. But y'all say y'all not bothered by Lamont. So that's why, that's clear. See, I, I feel good now it's released. But I love you, Grandma. Rest in peace. And that's why I was honored to speak at your thing. And, and I was honored to give my grandmother her flowers and her roses while she can see and smell the beauty of them. I didn't have to wait till she died just to speak at that thing. Because I did that because that was my closing final viewing. I said, Grandma, I'm going to speak at this thing. Yes, I am. Let me get up. Because there's so many memories. I could have went on and on. But I thank God that I was able to give her the birthday party that she asked me to give her. My grandmother asked me to give it to her. And everybody that showed up, we, you see, thank God y'all all was there. We witnessed a beautiful moment. You know, I didn't have thousands of dollars to give her a party in this big hall and this, that, and the third. But I know she loved food, and I know she loved to enjoy herself. And I know she loved her family, and I know she loved faces. So I reached out to everybody that I think in her heart that she wanted there. Some came, and some didn't. Now, if it was personal, I don't know. If it wasn't done intentionally, then I won't say nothing on that. 
Because I gave them enough time to call out from work and everything. But I know why some of them didn't show up. I'm not calling names, but I know why they didn't show up. You know, they don't fuck with, you know, you don't fuck with Lamar. <laughs> you know that hating shit. They don't fuck with Lamar. They didn't show up. But it wasn't a moment for me. It wasn't my moment. You know what I mean? It was grandma's moment. And I felt so good. I cried like a baby because I was glad to see the smile on her face. I don't do stuff for a show. I don't do stuff for a glot and, and get some props and praise for it. I do it from the bottom of my heart. And that's why she was so honored and she was so happy about it. I gave her money, gave her a party, and everybody came. A lot of people came. You know, like I said, some people didn't. But the ones that was there, she enjoyed the moment. So, Grandma, you know from, you know, and I know, and I know, and you know, we good. And we were good. We was just at, um, me and I picked her up. Me and Shanice, me and my cousin Shanice, we picked her up to take her to Tawanda's birthday party. And I still talk about that to this day. I said, Grandma, was so funny. We had so much fun in the car and we needed that. Because look at this day here. How did we know she was going to leave last year? See what I'm saying? So I have no guilt. I have no pain. I have no regrets. We was able to talk about it. And yeah, she fussed me out. She said, because I love you. You don't just ignore me. And I said, well, Grandma, you got other grandchildren don't call you every day. Why you ain't fussing at them? You got other grandchildren that don't come around all the time. Why you ain't fussing at them? Why, why you always do that to me? I don't feel like I'm your favorite. I said, you got your favorite. You know, and I'm not doing shots, but I just, that's why I said emotionally, I, I had got all upset sometimes throughout the years because I fought, I feel like I fought for her attention. I was her traveling buddy. I was always under my grandmother. So when I feel like I didn't have that with her, what I tell y'all, I know how to remove myself. So when y'all say I wasn't around my grandmother for a couple of times, I wasn't. I wasn't because it hurt it. I said, because the more I'm doing, Grandma, I don't get no recognition. I'm not saying I want it, but I'm like, Dad, Grandma, but you praise her. You you praise her all the time. You always got your favorites. And I did say that to her. You know, I ain't going to bite my tongue. You got your favorites. So what I had to do was just like, you know what? Fuck that devil. You're not going to demolish my love for her. I'm going to give her a party. I'm going to come around. I'm going to pick her up and take her to lunch. We're going to have our own moments. And I don't care who the favorite. You know who our favorites are. I'm not one of the favorites. But she said, I am. She said, Lamont, you know I love you. You all, I always love you. You're my traveling little boy. You're my baby. I said, Grandma, I'm going to hold you to that. And I love you back. I love you back. Because we was able to talk about it like mature adults. And I respect you. I'm going to always respect you because you're my grandma. You're the icon. So that's the story that was untold. So I'm moving on from that because I'm going to get teared up. But I love you, Grandma Jean Booker. You rest in peace, Grandma. But now that story is covered. Okay? It's covered and it's resolved. Okay, so now you know the truth. I ain't got nothing to hide. Now you know the truth. I did not disrespect my grandmother. I never did and never will. Like if she could tell you if she was here today or tomorrow, I, if she was still here, I never raised my hand at my grandmother. Next to it, it was on my paper, so I got to bring it up because this bothers me. Someone bust a shot at me. I'm going to leave it alone. You know, we, we good now, I, I guess. I don't know. But they said, I, I had a couple of people say it through the years, and I'm going to clear that up. They say Lamont don't fight. Lamont can't fight. You understand? Or oh, Lamont scared to fight. You know, all this fighting. There's always fighting. And Lamont, your brother, they always said, you know, they threw shots at me. I told you when you read me, they, they just be all over the place when they read Lamont. They don't know what to say. So they try to hurt me. They try to hurt me with words. And they said to me, Lamont, um, Kelly, you know, my mother's, um, my, um, See, I'm me upset. I was going to say my mother of a son. But my brother, he, um, they said Kelly fought all my fights for me, all my battles. Like, I'm just a little punk, you know, a little punk bitch that don't fight. So they, they said, that's why Kelly fought all your fights for you. I didn't respond to it then, and I didn't argue about it. You know why? Because I told you, it's not what you answer to that bothers you. If it's not true, why I get upset? So let's clear the air. Let's clear the air. First of all, there's a gap in between my years and my brother's June and Kelly years, okay? There's a gap. I'm way behind them. I'm not two years behind them, not one month behind them. I'm years behind them. So when you throw shots out there and you say he fought all my fights, wouldn't that make him look like a bully? So he was beating up elementary children? <laughs> 
Y'all sound so damn stupid. Oh my God, Hollywood, they hate you so much. They want to be the King B, but you can't be. So when you say stuff like that, make that make sense. He couldn't afford all my battles, you dumb asses. Number one, I've been fighting since the daycare days, elementary days. If there's a time that you see I don't like to fight and I wasn't responding to fights, let me say this because I don't want to go over the place with it. I'm not afraid to fight, okay? I'm too big for to be a bitch, okay? Some people just don't like to fight. Can I answer that for you? Can I help you out with that? Some people just don't like to fight. I'm not just a person that jump up in the morning and I'm ready to fight. It takes a lot to fight, to make me fight. It do. Because growing up, I can pay homage to my male-dominated cousins, Howie and Jamie and them. I always tell this story. As a little boy, before I jumped out there in Somerset or anywhere I went, majority of the time, my family always came to my rescue. I didn't use that as a crutch. That's just how they felt. Like I'm, that's my little cousin. Y'all gonna fuck it. Because I'm gonna be honest with y'all. So, 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 here we go again. Y'all throwing stories out there that you don't have no truth to. The reason why older people would jump in my fights, because I was so strong and so big for my age. So when I would fight their little brothers or little cousins or something, they'd go and get their bigger brothers. See? Bring it in, Hollywood. Told you, if you're going to start a rumor, you're going to start a fucking story, then, bitch, I'm going to finish it for you. How you done? So, don't say he don't fight. Don't say this bitch a punk. Don't say I'm scared to fight. Bitch, it ain't nothing scared about me to fight your ass. But fight don't solve everything. It just don't. So, I will get out there and fight. I'm from the hood, bitch. I'm, bitch, I'm from the hood. Welcome to be more. Put your lighters up. Bitch, I'm from the hood. The fuck I look like scared everybody. When I got a... Whoa, whoa. I had to duck. We had to duck bullets and banking and knives and sticks and shit all our life. The fuck you gonna say I'm a punk ass bitch ass nigga don't fight. Bitch, I've been staying on my own all my goddamn life. I club by myself. I'm in different towns and concerts by my goddamn self. The fuck you mean I don't fight? The greatest fight is lost. People don't fight fair. It takes a wise man, a strong man, to sometimes know when to fold on the poker table and know when to fuck to walk away from a beef. Hello? It don't hurt to walk away. So I'm a punk because I walked away. I'm still here. How many people should have walked away? That's why they did. They all shot up and shit. Going for bad don't get you nowhere. I grew up around watching fights all my life. We got some great fighters in our family. Y'all know that. So what you mean I can't fight? I come from a beast. My mother is a beast. Well, beat the fuck out you. So how am a punk ass bitch? Okay? If my brother jumped out there in a fight for me, okay? Nine out of ten is because that's what brothers do. See, that's what I'm talking about. Why y'all hate us? We brothers, okay? Either we don't get alone all the time. Either we don't see eye to eye all the time. The same way when my brother got into some shit up loser. You think the fuck he didn't call me? You think the fuck I didn't come? You think my mother didn't come? So, bitch, that goes without saying. It's 50 50. Okay? Somebody bothering my brother. You think the fuck I'm gonna be like, oh, we don't talk. Bitch, I wanna know what the fuck said. What's going on? That's how we grew up. Family don't always stick together. But, bitch, you fuck with one, you fuck with all, and you must fall. That's how it's supposed to be. That's how it should be. And that's all I'm saying, y'all. He didn't jump and fight all my fights. And he will tell you that. If he told you different, then that's a lie. One time I was fighting up to school one time. I didn't call my brother to say, come fight these people. It was I was fighting a ninth grader and his brothers was in the 12th grade. I told my brother, just stand out there so I don't get banged. I always thought I was a sexy ass diva. I don't like getting stomped and kicked in the face and getting sores everywhere. You know, I got fooled on before. I got stabbed before. You saw all these marks and shit, see? All these battle scars. I was tired of getting fooled on heavy like that. So I told my brother, come up to school, yo, and just stand there. And I'm going to fight him. I'm going to fight him. I just don't want them to jump in it. You know what I mean? So tell the truth. If you don't know the whole story, then shut the fuck up. I ain't scared to fight. And when they said that, I was getting ready to respond. Like, first of all, when the last time have your people fought? Or when the last time have your mother knocked a bitch out? My mother got a, a track record. My mother got a track record. Where your mother track record? Oh, 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 boy. 
Okay, go there, bitch. Hollywood, go there. Where y'all track records? Where, who y'all knocked out? Who y'all cousin knocked out? Who y'all uncle knocked out? Who this? Who? I'm just saying, all over the map. Check the record. Who they knocked out? You ain't go to school with me. You didn't hang in where I've been. You don't know who I fought. I protected my fucking gay friends. I fought for them motherfuckers. Who's scared to fight? You know why I don't like to fight? Because as years went on, I started having kids. And I was afraid to be one. I don't like jail and I don't like guns. So I avoid fights so that I don't have to deal with the consequences. Because I said, I don't want to go to jail because I'll snap out of it. I'll black the fuck out and be looking for every goddamn thing. Bust your goddamn head open. And then you got to deal with that. You see what I'm saying? So everything don't need to respond. So don't say I can't fight, y'all. Don't keep saying that. Who the fuck you fighting? Okay? So come on, y'all. The rumors. I'm done with that story. And then the last one, and I'm done. I'm going to clear this one up for y'all haters. A lot of people right in this family have said, and haters have said, you know, his kid is too grown. Well, his daughter too grown. When they were little, y'all family members were saying, oh, they hyper. This showing this. This showing that. They this and they that and they that and they that. And half of y'all showing the same damn way. Half of y'all showing bad. Half of y'all showing disrespectful. Half of y'all showing hyper. But did I say anything about y'all showing? Keep your motherfucking name up off my house, okay? And I thank God. When y'all people see us in public, you know people say, Lamar, where y'all live at? Your, your kids so proper. They talk like they... I said, it's not about white. It's not about proper. It's not about all that. Training starts at home. Yeah, this faggy. The one y'all call the faggy? I've instilled so much in my children. It's the way I raised them. Yeah, my daughter's not too grown. She's very respectful. Yeah, they was hyper. Yes, yeah, she had some um, issues. She did. I ain't gonna lie. She was real hyper. Ready to knock all the damn children out. But she have grew to so maturely. My beautiful kids have grew so maturely. But you know why y'all was talking about my kids? Because they was Lamont's. You see what I'm saying? First, I'm a faggy. First, I hand them because I'm covering up. Now you want to come for them. Oh, they hyper. Oh, they this. Y'all talked about my children right in the family. Yes, y'all did. Yes, y'all did. Half of y'all say y'all love the Lord. Y'all saved. But y'all gossip a lot. See what I'm saying? Let's go there. But how your children doing? Is they living? Is they strong? Is they respectful? Is they intelligent? Talk about your own shit. Sweep around your own front door. How your grandchildren doing? Or how your cousin doing? How your, how, why about yours? My kids are good in school. They're good in a virtual school, everything. Grades is up. I'm taking very good care of them. I love them unconditionally from the bottom of my heart and soul. Okay? Fuck you. They're mines. Fuck their mother and fuck whoever don't like them. Next, move it right along. So with that being said, I'm done. That was Chronicles number two. I have no more to say. I'm going to put the bow on this cast and bury it. I'm going to take it to the cremation. I'm going to call the undertaker back and bury it. Because I don't want to have to relash this no more. Rehatch this. I don't want to give the devil dominion or the power over me to have to do videos like this. My videos, if you notice, my post has been positive. All you see me doing is dress to impress. Because I have the best. And I'm in clothes with God. Hello? I've been chilling. Staying quiet and sitting in the cut. And I'm still being bothered. Just like, for instance, everybody I hang with, they always got somebody that don't that got a problem with it. Just like when I hung with my other cousin, her sister had a problem with it. I hang with my Aunt Faye, her kids got a problem with it. You understand? I hung with Aunt Anna Mae, her husband had a problem with it. I hung with other people, they people had a problem with it. Why is it always a goddamn problem? This bitch, that Hollywood rings bells. They shake up the dice. Hope you get 777, get lucky. Because I shake up the pots. Why is always hate when it comes to Hollywood? Everybody I hang with is a problem. If you don't like me, stay in your damn lane. Stay over there. Why you want them not to like me? Why you got to try to, oh, why you hanging with him? Why you hanging with him? He ain't your nephew. Who says shit like that? Hating. What have I done to y'all? Why you worry about who I hang with? Why you worry about them hanging with me? What have I done to y'all? What have I done to y'all? What is the reason? I'm not a user. I never call my aunt and say, let's go out there go eat. Oh, you got to pay the bill and all that. I don't use her like y'all do. I don't use her. I never use people. Nobody would never call you and say, he called and asked me for money, hundreds of thousands of dollars. I get out here and work for mine. I'm a survivor. I will not give up. I will not stop. I'm going to work harder. But it's a problem. 
Why my name all in their mouth? I'm way out here. Why you worry about her hanging with me? What is the problem? I don't call her and say, look, you paying the way. You don't know what I do for her. You don't. You don't know when she asks me for stuff, what I do. But you're nosy. You're hating. What have I done to y'all? What have I done to you? Why are you talking about me? Are you supposed to be my cousin? You see what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about, y'all. This shit gets to me. This shit gets back. The same way I dug... See, I always tell people, dog that brings a bone carries a bone. I don't bring the bone and I don't carry the bone. But it comes to my phone. And I send the shit for home. E.T. So make that make sense to me. See, then you go trying to join the panty wagon. Somebody talked about me, so now you try to join the panty wagon. Because I ain't this shit to you. And if you felt that way, why when I was over there for my aunt's birthday party, you didn't say all that face to face? Why you didn't say I don't like you, Lamont? So I can address it. I want to know what I've done to you, cousin. What have I done to her? I don't even know you, sweetie. I know you because you're in the family because my uncle made you or something. I don't know you, chick. Why are you talking about me? If it's not true, then I apologize. But this is what it was said to me. People come back telling me, y'all, you and your brother, y'all saying all this. Oh, oh he, he don't pay the bill and she paying for crab cakes for this bitch. I'm faggies. I'm all this. Why? Why you didn't say all that when we was face to face? See, I'm done. Chapter closed. Anyway, continue to wear that smile on your face. Know that you are somebody because God didn't make no junk when he made Hollywood. Hate it or love it. This is the final chapter. In my next videos, I pray they just be enough with what I've been doing. Because I've been very humble, very positive, very blessed, unstressed, unbothered, very happy. And that's why I think y'all mad. No weapon formed against me. Y'all is not going to prosper. I don't know why y'all keep joining this bandwagon, the hate trial, the hate plan, the, the, the destroy Lamont. Live your life. This world is too big. Go on some trips. Enjoy your life. Why y'all coming for me? Why? I'm not bothering nobody. Peace be still. I have dear eyes, some inner peace and some outer peace. And that's why I've been quiet. Why are you bothering me? I don't understand it, people. Grow up. Know who God is. It's too much going on. It is so much negativity going on in this world. Like I said, I don't even call nobody majority of the time. Because I can't even call nobody and tell them pray with me. Because they fake. You know, I can't even, I don't even know who's saved no more. Because everybody just talk the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, but ain't walking the walk, ain't doing shit about it. You're not even really saved. Let me say something, and I'm going to close it. 80% of y'all motherfuckers that go to church, or all this hallelujah, the day the Lord has made all this shit, half of y'all going straight, to, and I'm not judging, but half of y'all motherfuckers going where the sun don't shine. I'm going to let that sink in. Hate it or love it, this has been the final chapter, and now I'm burying it. You got anything else to say to me, take it up with God. Take it up with anybody, because I don't want to hear the shit. I'm just fed up with the bullshit. But thank y'all that has been loving me unconditionally, because y'all know who I really am. My heart. Y'all know who I really am. My soul. Y'all know who I really am and what I give, what I've done for people. I've been there consistently, constantly. That's why this shit hurts. Stop trying to paint a picture and they don't have no 3D to it. It's not live. It's a fucking lie. So if you can't get yourself together, I'm going to say this. I'm not going to just say kiss my ass. No. Nah. I'm going to say forgive them, God, for they know not what they're doing and saying and done. I wish y'all nothing but the best. Keep your attitudes to yourself. Leave me be because I'm going to be me. I'm not bothering you. I don't hate you. It is what it is. It was what it was. I'm free. I'm done with it. So when you see me in public, if you don't want to say nothing to me, that's fine. You don't like me, that's fine. But let people as family, as people in general, and people in the world, we're never going to get out of this box if we don't learn how to forgive and forget, love, and, for, and just let it be. Just show love. Is that that hard? You better, before you leave this earth, repent, surrender, and tell people that you know you have trashed and done wrong. You better ask for forgiveness before you close your eye. And stop bad-mouthing people. Because when I sold you, the wrath is coming. You're going to reap what you sow. And when God bring it back, especially y'all fake saved ones, you got to answer. That angel is recording you. The angel is recording you and she's watching. They sit high and they see low. God knows all. So when you think I'm saying and you think I'm doing, I'm not. 
God says, honey, see low. Remember that. Y'all have a blessed one. Continue to wear that smile on your face. Know that you and you and you and you are somebody. Because God didn't make no jump when he made us. They are demons that y'all allowed him to take over y'all. They are spirits of the devil. I rebuke them. In the name of Jesus, I cast them back into the lake of the fire. Hallelujah. I rebuke them. No weapon form against me shall prosper. Fuck you and the boat you came in on because that bitch is sinking like the Titanic. Have a good one.